Good morning, it's time. It's the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Listen, on today's show, we have Major League Baseball player Justin Trapp in the house, and we're going inside to find out the nitty and the gritty and about this 50-game suspension that was imposed, but life after. Hey, that's what we're talking. Also, Obama won the election. Hey, I'm excited, and I'm going to give you all the scoop. It's time. Come on in. Coffee cups up, pinkies out. It's time to get lamp. It's the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Good morning. <laughs> Here we go. Everybody, everybody get up. Come on. Somebody turn the lamp on. All right. Well, it's time for entertainment tea, and I am going to spill it for you. But really, I don't have any hidden facts. Just going to share some things that happen around the world. What are you talking about, Jeffrey? First of all, I'm excited. I'm happy because President Obama is back in office again. Yes. Yes. Ooh, can't you feel the excitement in the air? I truly can. First of all, I need to say a special thank you to the Voters Registration Office in Clarendon County. Ladies, Shirley Black Oliver, I see you this morning. Thank you so much for making sure that my vote matter and my vote count. Listen, I had to drive from the DMV over to the Voters Registration and here and there around the square saying, catch Obama if you can. And I caught him and voted for him and I'm excited. So congratulations to you, President Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama. Listen, I just want to take a moment Take a look at this video right here. It is a defining moment of our first family. Take a look. First of all, I am excited. I am excited because our first family is the bomb. Dot com. Yes, they are. First of all, you know I got to say it. So listen, in Romans it says, what shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? And that is what I say when I think about our first family. So excited, so cool. And you look fashionably well. You better rock that hair. And haven't the girls grown? They've grown so much. But listen, I'm not the only one who was excited about it. Take a look at this video. This is a little toddler. Even the children, the babies are excited about <laughs> President Obama being elected. Take a look real quick. Not only are the toddlers <laughs> excited, listen, at the White House, you know, it was also, almost like, what was the, the story in the Bible? Was it, um, was it, I can't remember who it was, that climbed the tree. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Climb the tree, try, Zacchaeus, yes, Zacchaeus, you better climb that tree. It was almost like that scene out there in front of the White House. Take a look at this video. Can't you see them? They're climbing trees all to see it. Come see a man. That's what I say about it this morning. Listen, who else was supporting President Obama? Also, Jay-Z, and he had a message for what wasn't one of his problems. Take a quick look at this video. If you having girl problems, I'm for you, son. I got 99 problems, but men ain't one. Now, before I finish, let me just say, I did not come here to show out. Are we ready to move forward, Ohio? Everybody wasn't happy about the election. Listen, I'm not going to talk any more election. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to leave on a funny note. Who else was happy? They were so happy they started running free. I'm going to leave you on this video. The horses went wild an hour. They said, give us free. Give us free. That's right. Listen, take a look at the video as we go out. That's all I got time for. Continue to send me your videos. I'm going away after today. I'm taking a vacation. But send me your videos. I need to see your children singing the Jeffrey Lampkin theme song. Coffee cups up, pinkies out. We're back with Justin Trapp. It's the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Good morning, you've been lamb. <laughs> Jeffrey Lampkin. <laughs> Cannon and Graves is a proud sponsor of the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Located at 1837 Wilson Road in Newberry, Cannon and Graves has the perfect certified used car for you. Their extensive inventory has something in every price range, and they can get everyone financed, regardless of credit. All cars come with a warranty to give you the peace of mind you deserve. 
Come see Steve and Reggie and find your new car at Cannon and Graves. Good morning, and we're back here on the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Coffee cups up and your pinkies out. Listen, I know you're getting ready for service. However, I'm going to just tell you, stop for a moment, put your stockings down, come on back. Everybody gather around the TV. I'm excited because this morning we're talking baseball, all things athletics. You know, a lot of times we're here in the rural communities. I know I have viewers out there in Sumter and Somerton, Manning, Winsboro, Orangeburg, and the surrounding communities. And you may be sitting there and saying, hey, I got talent, Jeffrey. I can play sports. I can write songs. I can do all sorts of things. But you feel like you won't have the chance to make it out. But these next two shows are about showing you that you can make it out. And I'm happy this morning to have my brother brother and my friend Justin Trapp here on the couch with me this morning. Good morning, Justin. How you doing, Jeff? How are you this morning? Doing good. You know, man. first of all, let me stop right here because see, Justin has just taken me this morning. So y'all know I got my good um, cardigan on this morning, my red. Shout out to all of the ladies of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, including my girlfriend. Love you, boo. Nonetheless, Jason, Justin, Justin don't confuse me, Justin. <laughs> so we're talking this morning right. and we're talking about baseball. Yeah. So tell us a little bit, because to see you, you look like, hey, the guy from next door. But you're more than the guy from next door. Tell us a little bit about Justin Trapp. For me, you know, I'm from Blair, South Carolina. Where is Blair? Like 30 minutes outside of Columbia. And that's just for my view viewers, because ultimately I know where Blair is. But it's over in Fairfield yes, sir. County. Okay. Yeah. 10 minutes away from Fairfield, you know. I'm saying me, you know. I'd rather be that guy than a guy that just all out you know i'd rather be that next door neighbor than mm -hmm. to be a guy that try to stand out and be somebody that they ain't is is it difficult for you because of course you can't you come from fairfield you come from winsboro and blair area where there is the rural town so you know a lot of people are not necessarily we talk about agents and we talk about athletes because you actually play baseball yes, sir. did you start at young playing baseball was yeah. that your passion or was it because baseball in winsboro yeah, I'm going to explain that. Okay. Baseball, I always love the game of baseball, you know, and it's it's rare and where I'm from, Winsboro, you know, baseball is not that big there. So for me, you know, I always had the passion to love the game and play the game and give it all I had and wanted to stand out and change that. You know, I wanted to be the first to just be the best at the game of baseball. And luckily, through God, it worked out. Okay, so tell us about home life. W were you like always like putting camps for baseball? Uh, was it mom and dad at the home together? What was that like? For me, my mom and my dad was my biggest supporters. You know, summertime when everybody having a good time out of school, mm -hmm. every weekend I'm traveling, traveling all around the world playing AAU baseball and just, I think my mom and my dad had the biggest help for me, you know, because without them I wouldn't be where I'm at today. Every weekend, traveling, traveling, traveling. I traveled the most. So did that get extensive? Was that hard for you? I mean, like, cause you, when did you have time to grow up and play with your friends, or were you playing with the friends in AAU? Mostly friends in AAU, the game of baseball, you know, and I loved it so much to where I I do that, you know. That's how, that's how I knew I loved the game, because every weekend, you know, I'm traveling, and while everybody else out of school enjoying their summer break, I'm traveling and playing the game of baseball. Okay, so summer comes, summer goes. Fairfield Central High School, that's where you went to high school at? Sure. Graduated. Yeah. Class of? 09. Class of 09. So graduated from Fairfield Central High School. By then, were recruits looking at you? Were you playing for Fairfield Central High School? Yeah, I played for Fairfield Central High School. You know, I had a few scouts come there. And, you know, what's funny is that I heard a scout say that that was the worst program ever, you know, like wow. that was the worst program that he ever been to, you know, no fans, no nothing. That really hurted me, but mm -hmm. obviously I, I wanted to change that. So I stepped up and kept working hard, kept grinding and it worked out for me. Kept grinding. What is grinding? For me, grinding is putting in hard work, okay. man. Like just giving it all you got, man. Knowing your upsides, knowing that you, you're back against the wall, knowing that it ain't no chance. Like for me, Baseball ain't no chance coming from Winsboro, and I wanted to change that. Okay. So you you take baseball because mostly in our rural towns and things we look at, we're looking for football players. We try, little Jimmy need to get out there. He needs to play football. Yeah. He needs to play basketball. But you took a total different path being directed by God and your parents, your mom, Rhonda, and your dad. Care. All right. So you're being directed to do actually sports, and you go on from high school to... 
Uh, got drafted in 09 for the Kansas City Royals. So you got drafted straight from high school? Straight from high school. So did you ever have the desire to go to college? Uh, I had committed to Coastal Carolina. Okay. You know, I was, that's where I was going initially, but the draft came and I got picked up. So it was a big decision for me, like whether to go to college or go to the pros. Right. And I always wanted to play professional baseball no matter what. So I went ahead and took that opportunity. Do you think you were ready? I think I was ready. The most important thing for me, though, is getting ready now for the big leagues. You know, minor leagues is a grind. Mm -hmm. You know, minor leagues is where you, you know, direct your craft, get your craft together and prepare yourself for the major leagues. Mm -hmm. So I think I was ready. So we, we talk about it and, and we talk about, you know, you, you said you think you were ready. And, and one of the questions I want to ask, because, of course, I've seen the reports and I know my viewers seen the reports and I want to talk about it. So I think we're going to go to a break and I want to come back and I really want to get to the heart of being a professional athlete because something happened along the way on your journey that really took a shocking effect and a shocking turn. I want to talk about it. So listen, go get your coffee, go put your stockings on, get ready. I know, snatch your wig, get it right. And listen, we're coming back. It's more of the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Coffee cups up, pinkies out. Good morning. <laughs> if you love what Jeffrey is wearing each week, go see Dr. Terrence Tindall at Jerome and Company. Don't worry, ladies, they carry women's clothing too, so you can look your best every day. For beautiful casual and dress attire for men and ladies, go to the Columbia style leader, Jerome and Company. <laughs> and we're back here on the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Listen, coffee cups up and your pinkies out. I hope you're getting lamp this morning. Listen, we left talking to professional baseball player Justin Trapp, who is here with us on this morning. Justin still got these shades on, but I promise you that before this interview is over, I'm going to convince him to get the shades off because, I, Justin, one of the things I want to do is get to the heart of the matter. We left before the break, and we were talking about your journey coming from a rural town, coming from Blair, spending your summers where you're actually out and you're playing baseball and you're, you're, you're um, in the AAU league and you're learning these things instead of spending time with your friends and growing up. So we bypass all that to you graduating and them coming to you and saying, we want you in the professional league, in the, in the major baseball league. So my question then becomes for you, I asked you, were you ready? Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I would think I was ready. Absolutely, I think I was ready. And you got to have that mindset to know you're ready. Why do you say you were ready? Because I, I came in the league and I performed. I did a great job. In my eyes, I did a great job. And in their eyes, I did a great job. So I kept moving up, keep moving up. And but let's deal with right. reality. And to see, one thing about the Jeffrey Lampkin show, we keep it real. So we're, we're talking about the, the baseball league select because you, you instantly – catapult to stardom. Yeah. Everyone knows you're coming from a, a rural town. Everyone knows, hey, this is Justin Trapp. Hey, he the man, man. You heard he got signed, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So question number one, how did you deal with the pressures of the women? You know, for me, temptation thing for me is if you put yourself in a situation, then you're giving, your chance, you're giving yourself a chance to fail. And for me, the temptation is if you don't put yourself in them situations, then you avoid them. Did you have a job in high school? No job. No job at all? No job at So all. you catapulted from making no money to making thousands of dollars? Yes, sir. How did you handle that? For me, you know, money ain't, money to me is just pays to Do me. Do you have money now? <laughs> yeah. Is money left? And you know, these are questions that we have to ask. Is money left? Do you have money now? Yeah, because you money. said that you have money. Yeah. And, and this is not being rich, but when we talk about money, I, I'm not talking about money on hand that you can go to and buy, um, black label polo. That's not <laughs> what I'm saying. But I mean, are we investing our money? Are we making wise decisions and wise choices? Absolutely. You know, I have an agent here in town, okay. Lee Long. You know, he helped me manage my money. He helped me with different situations and what to do with my money. And is it hard coming home and seeing family members who think, oh, this is Justin. Oh, he got money. Oh, what's up, bro? Give me $20. Absolutely. You know, that happens a lot? A lot. Absolutely. Okay. And, you know, for me, I'm, I'm the type of guy that'll give it. You know, if it was up to me, I'd give my all. You know, for my family, you know, because a lot of my family members, you know, don't have a lot. And when they ask me if I got it, I if give. If you got it, you give. And, and I, I, I share that. Let, let's talk about, you know, wise decisions and making decisions. So, Justin, you went into um, the professional league, but something happened along the way. Um, the reports came out, and I saw them on the circuit. Of course, they were around that you were um, found to have 
enhancement drugs in your system. Sure. What was that experience like? Well, you said you were going to make me take these shades off. Right, take off, them shades so. off because I need, I need to see your eyes. See, I like to get to the heart and the truth of people. <laughs> so help us understand, you, you served a 50-game suspension, yes, which says that there were drugs in the system. Were there drugs? Uh, if you checked, it was a fetamine. It was in an energy drink that I had drunk. And, you know, the Major League Baseball rules is a fetamine, you get suspended, fit the game. And the fetamine was in the energy drink that did I drank. Did you drunk. know this beforehand? Not at all. Did you know Did you know the rules, though? I did knew the rules. Know? Absolutely. I knew the rules, but, you know, in that drink, I didn't know if fetamine was in that drink. And I drunk that drink, and it showed up in my system the next day. We had a drug test. So y'all get tested daily? Every other week. Every other week, yes, you're sir. getting tested for drugs. Yes. And so a performance-enhancing drug was found in your system. And when you went to take the test, were you thinking anything no, like this I had is no happen? idea. No idea. No idea that it was going to happen. I got a call a week later saying that I had failed and that I was going to serve a 50-game suspension. And right then, it was... That changed. It was like a lot the whole of world came crashing yeah. down. But let's go back because see, here's the thing that people may not know. So you do you're, you're taking the performance. You're not taking a performance enhancing drug. You're just taking an energy drink. Energy drink. But that tells something to me. So are you having a hard time doing work life balance? For me, uh, I wouldn't say that. You know, it was just I was getting a little tired at the end of my workout, so I was wanted to have a little bit more energy and. Shouldn't have drunk it, and I know now, so I learned from it. And were you tired from partying? Not partying. Okay. Not absolutely not partying. The women? Not women. Okay. <laughs> okay. Baseball. Baseball. Yeah. So it was just you really put your heart and your soul into baseball. In baseball. Okay. So the women weren't a factor. The women weren't a factor. Do the women love J Trap, J Dizzy, Breezy, whatever we call ourselves? <laughs> what is your name? Because honestly, <laughs> you have something. Because I know people, I follow you on Twitter. So what is it, Six Breezy? Or yeah, Six Breezy. Six. Is that your your nickname? Yeah. Okay. Is that what the women call you? No, that's that's a friend. He called me that, so okay. I got it from him. What do the women call you? Trap. Trap. Trap boy. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but they're not a factor. No. Okay. Not so you you learn to balance them. I learn to balance. Okay. Um. Are, the question becomes because I have lots of female viewers out here, single. Yes, sir. You are single. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Children. Yeah, I have a son, three oh. months old. What's and his name? Justin Trap Jr. Justin Trap JJ. Good <laughs> morning to JJ out there. Loving <laughs> JJ this morning. So listen. Yeah. So you went through and they imposed this fifty game suspension. Who did you call first? First person I called was my brother, Larry Perry, you know, okay. and I told him, man, he, I said, bro, I'm in something that going to be hard for me to get out, man. Like, it ain't no way around it. Like, I'm going to have to serve this, and I'm going to have to be a man and stand up and take it like a man, and that's what I did. Mm. So was that difficult? When did you call your mom? Well, did you call your mom? It was, that's the, the most important thing that, I knew that was going to hurt me because I knew from there that my mom would be hurt. And that hurt it, that hurt it me to know that my mom was going to be hurt. And when I talked to my mom about it, I talked to my dad about it, man. They was hurt. They was crying, you know. People coming to their job saying, oh, he just the regular old guy now. He just a regular old guy from Fairfield that, what was that messed like up. You? you know, that was tough. That changed my whole career, man. Like, I can't take the game for granted. Like, the game was taken away from me, like seeing my friends go out there and play the game, man, and I couldn't play the game, and that hurted me. I, and now I go out there every game, every time I step on the field, I know I can't take the game for granted because it can easily be taken away from me. Mm -hmm. And So the suspension is over. Suspension over. We're back to playing baseball. Back to playing baseball. So God gave you a second chance. Yeah. What do you What do you do to him, for him? What do you say to him for just for that moment? I give him up. I give him all the praise and glory, cause without him, man, I wouldn't, I wouldn't dare be where I'm at today. And I just thank him for everything he done for me. I know he got blessings for me, and I just thank him. What's the best thing about being a professional baseball player? For me, the best thing about being a professional baseball player is you got to know how to handle your failure, man. Okay. And you know, a lot of people can't handle failure. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, when they fail, man, they give up. They give up in life. And baseball is a game of failure. So the best thing about me for being a professional baseball player is handling failure and being somebody that, you know, that a lot of people want to be. I got a lot of people out there right now who, who, would love, who would just love to be in your shoes. Yeah. 
what do you say to that young man, that young woman who's in that rural county right now, who's sitting here at the TV with their mom and their dad beside them, and they know they're a great player. They play out in their yard, shooting basketball, shooting hoops, hitting baseball. What would Justin Trapp, the guy who came from the rural town, who served a 50-game suspension for um, performance-enhancing drugs that he didn't mean to do, who reputation was tarnished but restored, what does Justin say to them in this moment? For me, I would tell you, you know, don't take nothing for granted. Don't take life for granted. You know, whatever you do, man, just keep grinding, keep going hard each and every day. Whatever you, whatever you want to be in life, go hard at it. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do it. And just keep going hard and grind for it. And one day, hopefully, you'll reach your dream, man. Justin, we salute you. We're so glad for what you're doing for the community and how you're making an impact. We're glad that you're back. Yeah. And you're going to be doing some camps and stuff around in yeah. the local communities yeah. and stuff. And we're going to have information for that on the website, jeffreylampton.com, or the Facebook page show. Listen, we're so glad. Jay Trap, Jay Zizzle, whatever we want to <laughs> call him, Jay, Jay, Jay Breezy is in the house. Nonetheless, coffee cups up. Pinky's out. I know you're getting ready for church. And we're coming back. It's going to be more. Listen, I got Dr. Adams in the house. I need to make him sing, right? And I got a giveaway coming for you as well. It's all here. It's the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Good morning. Jeffrey Lampkin. <laughs> Every week, Monica Hilton makes fabulous treats for the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. The cake lady will happily make your favorite dessert for you, too. Give her a call at 803-466-3795. Follow her on Facebook and check out thecakeladysc.com to see more of her amazing work. Jeffrey Lampkin. <laughs> Somebody turn the lamp on. Ooh, I know you're feeling low There's some things you don't want anyone to know Not your friends, not your family You're holding guilt and pain in your heart for sure You're ashamed that you sin Keep running from the truth that will set you free. Confess your sins to the Lord, and He will give you peace. The wash is so pure, though your sins be as scarlet. Be as scarlet. The wash is so pure. Yes, it will. Wash you. Wash you. Wash you. So. so You have to stay down in the depths of sin Because God can deliver you Restore your joy within Just tell Him Create in me a clean heart And renew a right spirit within me Cast me not from thy presence, O God And take not your presence from me Oh, so oh yeah. Though your sins be as scarlet, though your sins wash you so pure, be as crimson. He'll wash you, wash you. He promised in His so word to pure, wash you so pure. Your sins be as scarlet, oh yes it will. He'll wash you so pure, oh yes it will. Oh yeah. So pure. He'll wash you so pure. So pure. So pure. My God will wash you. So pure. So pure. So pure. So pure. He'll wash you so pure. So pure. So pure. Oh, oh, oh. Your sins be as scarlet. Oh, oh, oh. Wash you so pure. Oh, yeah. He'll wash you. He'll wash you. Wash you so pure. 
just cast your cares on Him. Oh yeah, yes He will. Just listen to me. He'll wash you so pure. God is there. He'll wash you for wash all of your needs. So pure. Though your sins be as gone. He will take care of you. He'll wash you so pure. God will see you through. He'll wash Bistro now serving lunch Tuesday through Friday from 11:30 to 2, and Sunday brunch from 10:30 to 2:30. Classic Southern food with classic French preparation. Dijon and shallot encrusted New York strip, fresh seafood over local green salad and vegetables, and so much more. In a comfortable yet elegant setting. Momo's Bistro, 2930 Divine Street. If you love what Jeffrey is wearing each week, go see Dr. Terrence Tyndall at Jerome & Company. Don't worry, ladies. They carry women's clothing, too, so you can look your best every day. For beautiful casual and dress attire for men and ladies, go to the Columbia Style Leader, Jerome & Company. Wow, what an amazing show. I had a ball today. Listen, I know that you just saw the video of Dr. Kathy Adams. He's gonna be on my show next week and I'm actually gonna get the opportunity to talk to him about everything that he does. But listen, the word of the day is determination. Determination, according to Webster, is defined as unwavering support of firmness or character. Listen, so we heard the stories of Justin Trapp today. We saw President Barack Obama win re-election here in the United States, but you know what it took? It took determination. It took you, yes you, going out and voting, saying, you know what? Nothing is going to separate me from this moment and from my God-given right and ability to do what it is that I love to do. I want you to apply that determination, not just to when you're out voting, but to your life. I'm determined to run all the way. I'm going to make it. 99 and a half won't do. I've got to make 100 and nothing is going to stop me. Listen, be determined, be about it, go forward in victory. Listen, you've been Lamp, same time next week. It's the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Coffee cups up, pinkies out, I'm headed out the country. Have a great day. Good morning. <laughs> Here we go. Everybody, everybody get up. Come on. Lamp, 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 lamp. The Jeffy Lamp. <laughs> Somebody turn the lamp on.